Hey, Dan! Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Murano's interior is pretty upscale for a Nissan. The steering wheel features smooth black leather, an average 9 and 3 grip setup, and it also has a modern looking shape. The wheel itself is pretty big and that boils down to personal preference. The seats are comfortable, but only offer a slight bolstering. They also have soft black leather and a rather uninteresting appearance, but they do have electronic adjustment controls. The red-orange gauges really stand out and are very cool to look at. The radio and climate controls both have quality components and aren't troublesome in any way. Here are more buttons from the standard Nissan parts bin. It does include an engine start button. And heated seats along with the all-wheel drive button. There's also a backup camera and intuitive controls beneath the screen. The shifter area looks luxurious with the silver trim accent. The shifter itself looks pretty nice too. Underneath is a nifty coin holder. Also pretty generous storage space in the center console. Really deep glove box. I can barely reach the back with my hand there. Also there are okay map pockets as well. The trunk space is pretty generous with nearly 32 cubic feet and folding down the seats allows for 64 cubic feet of cargo space and the power controls raise the seats back up as you can see here. And the back seat space is more than adequate allowing for a few inches of extra space both for headroom and legroom, as you can see in my demonstration. Now let's get to the test drive. Hello, Washington. How's the weather up there? Never move your back row, ever. <laughs> Tommy like you. Tommy you all like me. Allison, my dove. Initial impressions here, starting to drive out in the 2010 Nissan Murano SL all-wheel drive. How many miles does this car have on here? 106. When I noticed that the pedal response is decent. I'm going to test the brakes on this corner coming up here. Throttle response is decent. Well, the brakes are pretty good. Yeah, they are. Pretty confidence inspiring brakes there. Must be Callahan brake pads. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tommy just sold half a million brake pads. Tommy just sold a half a million brake pads. <laughs> so this is my brother Sean's Nissan Murano. Uh, how long have you had this vehicle? I'd say, say about 18 months. Oh nice. And uh, overall have you had many problems with it? Um, to be honest, I bought a salvage title because I'm cheap. Yeah, so got it for 8500 knew I had to put a little money into it. Probably all in, maybe 10 Okay. And uh, haven't had any problems since. It's great. Nice. Big fan. 
Sorry. Although, although it does make me feel like a bit of a soccer mom, but it's honestly, I, I love it. I noticed here it has a really smooth ride, and there's not too much road noise in here. <laughs> I'm gonna test, take it around some corners and just kind of see how it handles. I know you mentioned to me before that it almost feels like a car when you're driving it. You don't really feel the weight, almost 4,000 pounds, but it feels lighter than that. Yeah, it handles the corners really yeah, well. Yeah, it really does. Not much body roll at all. Nope. Nice. I'm no car expert by any means, but, or SUV expert for that matter, but, I had the uh, Acura RL, I believe. Uh, 2002 was my previous car. Uh, liked it a lot, but this honestly drives, I feel like, better than that does. Probably does. Well, the thing was a pontoon. <laughs> like Another thing I like about this is the seating position. Like, even though the seat's not all the way up, I feel like I'm sitting up high, I have a really good, mm -hmm. you know, a good view of the road. Also looking out the back, you have really good visibility. And the sides, the B pillar and the A pillar are pretty thin so they hardly get in your way. So blind spot's not really there. It also has a backup camera and huge mirrors. So it's a pretty uh, well-rounded vehicle. Let's, let's test out the defrost if you don't mind. Oh yeah. I didn't want to lose some audio here. It's really humid out, so it's getting foggy in here. And Matt, I'm not sure if you're gonna let the viewers know, but we are up in Hayward, Wisconsin. Um, love this town. Beautiful lakes, great people. Any fun facts for the people at home? You can check out my grand tour video where we start out our tour of northern Wisconsin in Hayward and we have plenty of fun facts about all the cities that we pass through. It is the, the home, I forgot what bar it's called, but the world record muskie was caught around here. So that that is one tourist yeah I remember you had that, you had that in that video yeah and there's a giant uh, a man-made fish sort of thing <laughs> in downtown but uh, just leading into the uh, acceleration test this car is 265 horsepower and I'll post the stats later but I believe it has like 245 pound-feet of torque so it's pretty healthy balance of power Another cool thing is the mirror shows uh, has a compass on there, shows what direction you're going. And this basically has a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's like the same uh, engine detuned version of the 350C. So this has a CVT, which stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, the Continuously Variable Transmission it doesn't have a set gears. It constantly has it has pulleys, and it tries to find the optimal gear ratio continuously. Hence the acronym there. Yeah. So I guess I'll I'll test it. Do a zero to sixty here. Zero to sixty in. A rolling start. Yeah, I'm rolling. Start. terrible. It's a little more sluggish than you might uh, expect a V6 to have. But it does have a good sound to it. I do like the sound. And do you have any trouble merging out of the highway or do you think it has enough get up and go for a Oh, it has town? plenty of get up and go. And, and the, the body is so small in the front mm -hmm. and it's just the way it's shaped. It's easy to get in and out of traffic. And it does have good handling. I'll give that a plus. And the interior features they're actually really nice in here. They've got good resistance to the knobs on the radio. Same thing goes with the climate control system. And um, does this have GPS or is it just? Uh, uh, I don't believe. I think this was. This might have been the model before. Kind of the year before all that came out. Okay, so no. But again, I'm that. not an expert, so okay. don't quote me on that. But it's you know it's pretty feature laden though. I mean, uh, I'll show the rest of the features in the, re the other part of the video. But uh, the, the seats go down, you have, and then power power seats. Yep, power gateway, seats. Adjustable power seats, uh, spacious back seat. And also the gauges look really cool. I'll, I'll probably show that in the other part of the video. And uh, the interior overall, it's nice black leather. And the plastics are, you know, they're not too hard. They're actually, you know, decent quality plastic. It doesn't feel cheap in here. It's almost like an Infinity, even though it's still a Nissan. 
how much room do you got uh, for storage space in here? You know, the glove box. Let's see here. Oh, that's a big glove box. Yep. That's pretty generous space there. <laughs> Actually, it is pretty deep. How about the like the center console? Center console. Got this little guy here. Woo! These roads are narrow. Yeah, these are really fun roads to test cars on. I'll probably do some more reviews in the future up here. But yeah, this if you want a SUV that handles pretty well, this this reminds me somewhat handling wise of the Ford Escape that I reviewed in another video. It's just it's a you know a little lighter than uh, bigger SUVs, so it handles itself pretty well. It's nimble. So we're gonna take this corner a little fast here. Really grips the road well. I mean, obviously, if you push it really hard, you're gonna experience some body roll, but that's just because it's you know a taller vehicle. As you know, Minnesota is, you know, you get all four seasons rocking and rolling. Ice, rain, hail, tornado, snow, humid, mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, but so far so good, it's, it's done its job. Gets you from point A to point B. Uh, with little trouble. Very little trouble, to be honest. What I did notice when I was driving it, you, you probably notice this on a daily basis, but it's really uh, smooth in its power delivery. Mm -hmm. So when you accelerate, you don't feel it. It doesn't like go into the next gear, just kind of smooth all the way up. You almost don't even feel it switching gears. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of that. So if you really like the smooth acceleration, then this is probably for you. Plus, it's su supposedly uh, more efficient because it always has the optimal uh, revs applied for every situation, so it should be more fuel efficient. It isn't, so is this car, I don't even know what the gas mileage is. Do you think it's more fuel efficient? Uh, yeah, for other ones this size of this year, uh, you get about 23 in the highway, which isn't bad for something this big mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a four cylinder or a turbo so considering it's a v6 from 2010 that's pretty good so normally you think a, a sedan with a v6 would get around that mileage miles per gallon v6 v8 v12 i like that i never really have problems with the car mm -hmm. i know it's reliable it starts it you know all the the door handles, the windows, everything's been really consistent. But that's why I gotta watch more of your Don Dimension videos. I got plenty of fun reviews. You should check out my 350C review. It has a similar engine to this, but it's obviously tuned differently. Different sound, different transmission. I love the body on those cars. It's sleek. Yeah, and a lot of people like them better than the 370Z. I know you were telling me you don't like those as much. I'm just not a big fan of the the bubble out tail lights. Mm -hmm. I, it looks like it's just a pimple or something that needs to be popped. I can go with the car. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. I haven't heard that description before. It's like the the dome on a bubble hockey. Oh yeah, it's a little more. And they try to make the 370Z more aggressive than the 350Z, but I think they tried to do too much. It's not, it's not as classic or original anymore. It's a lot of different shapes clashing with each other. The headlights and taillights have little edges jutting into them. Yeah, I've noticed that in the Lexus as well. Oh yeah. 15 bucks on red. I too like to live dangerously. Who? does number two work for? It handles the, the dirt road here pretty nicely. I feel like a rally car racer in this thing. So the all-wheel drive does come in handy. Yeah, it does. Very Pretty smooth suspension too, a nice smooth ride on these roads here. You don't feel the bumps too much. So, say you have two or three kids picking up groceries, Tommy from soccer. It's the perfect car for you. The ultimate grocery getter. <laughs> With a moonroof. The ultimate grocery getter for Minnesota. The, uh, true. 
Yeah. So it, it can handle all the weather that you throw at it. Any surface, it really does handle it well. And you don't have to overspend like a lot of people do on a Range Rover yeah. or a Jeep. Although those are really nice. Yeah, the MSRP on these, the base was uh, about 32000 This one was probably closer to thirty-seven. And here's the backup camera. It's a uh, pretty good definition. It's always a nice feature to have. Stitching on the steering wheel is nice. I like it. It is nice. It's black leather. And then another thing that the Jeep has that I like when I rented it was this little notch right here. Because I don't, I'm not a 10 and 2 guy by any means. So I kind of just like having it down here. How do you like the 9 and 3 grip on this car? The old 9 and 3? Mm hmm. Let's see here. Uh, no, like here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nine and three. So, how do you like uh, the nine and three grips on this wheel? The nine and three grips. They uh, let me get a good feel here, because I never really drive nine and three. It feels nice. I mean, it's kind of wide, but kind of bolsters out. Are you a thumbs over the top guy for nine and three or? Uh, I'm just like you have it like that, yeah. Yeah, I'm a this guy. Just boom. Got the double moon it. roof there. Unfortunately, it doesn't open up all the way, but not bad. Ooh, kind of that mirrored closing effect there. Oh, yeah. Then I get the back really quick. The visibility's not terrible. Kind of a smaller back window, but comes in handy for parking. Yeah. This is the blind spot. It's not too bad. You got <laughs> decent visibility there. Donnelly, right?